This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Guys, 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 today we are getting one of the best sneaker pickups, one of the best sneaker unboxings, actually the best sneaker unboxing in the history of this channel. Needless to say, I am ridiculously pumped. Last week they tried delivering it to my house twice, so unfortunately now I do need to head over to the DHL pickup spot, which of course is like on the other end of the city, but I am getting one of the best sneakers in my collection, please don't call me a hype beast. You guys need to hit the like button for these. Like, smash the like button in anticipation of how awesome these sneakers are, because let me tell you, they are awesome. Okay, let's crack this guy open. This is a big box for one pair of shoes. Shipping labels obviously removed so you guys can't stalk me. Quick side note, lots of you guys always ask me in Q&As that I do, like, have you ever had a YouTube stalker or anything? The answer to that would be no, except one time someone DM'd me my home address on Instagram, and that was terrifying. So now I always triple check to make sure that there are no addresses left in the box. What am I gonna open this up with? Well. There was only really one option, the Mike's Hard Lemonade Key. This pair of shoes right here, before we open these, I am so pumped for these. I got these for a for a good price. I paid 600 Canadian dollars plus shipping for these. And the, the guy was originally selling them for 660, I think, or maybe 670, I don't know. But I messaged him and I was like, hey, can you do 600? And he was like, yeah, sure, I'll do 600. So I PayPal'd or eBayed him the money, eBayed him the money. I bought it on eBay is what I'm trying to say. He shipped it over, one week later, here they are. Are, guys 600 bucks for these Canadian which is around that's around 410 American so this is a really good price I'm excited okay don't call me a hype beast please let's go this is the best unboxing I have ever done on my channel of all time this Mike's Hard Lemonade Key is amazing bam it is open just like that and let's crack these open here they are Yeezy 350s. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's slide this box open and see what colorway I got. I got the black and... Um, uh, what do I do? Um, I think I just... Jeez. These are supposed to be the black and whites. These aren't the freaking black and whites. <laughs> Whew. Okay, guys, I think I just got scammed. Um... Jeez. Okay, I've calmed down 10 minutes later. I don't know what is up with these. These are supposed to be the black and white, and this doesn't look white. This is green. This is... This is not white. Um, they don't feel right. Yeah, that's that's a dead giveaway right there. The ins This is the real pair right here. Uh, this feels sort of like a matte plastic on the inside. There's a bit of a support cage under the prime net. This feels super, super rubbery and glossy. I'm not happy right now. Um... I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that these are not real. I paid $600 for them. I bought them on eBay, so as far as I know, I think I can get my money back somehow. The stripe goes down basically as far as the real one is. Here's my real one. They go down almost exactly the same. The prime knit feels slightly different, but if you don't have a real pair in hand, you can't tell if the prime knit feels slightly different. The inside feels different, but if you don't have a real pair in hand, you can't tell if the inside feels different. Bottom looks exactly the same. Midsole looks exactly the same. Pretty much same height-wise around the ankle collar. This one might be actually a tad lower, but these look exactly the same. How do I get my money back now? I guess I need to file a... This is why I don't buy freaking things off of eBay. It's $600 on this. This is why I don't buy things off of eBay. They were real in the pictures, I can tell you that much, and this isn't what the picture was. It was the black and white ones. The description was the black and white ones. This is freaking the olive pair. Seriously, guys, don't waste your time with freaking eBay on stuff like this. Like, unless it's a super, super high seller feedback on it, don't buy crap off eBay, because this is what's going to happen. Now I need to go through... Even super close up, look at the texture of the knitted pattern. They look exactly the same on the two pairs. Everything looks exactly the same on the two pairs. If these had been the correct color, I swear, if they had sent me a black and white pair of these, I probably wouldn't have ever figured out that they were fake. I don't know how you guys are supposed to tell the difference. This is actually sort of frightening how good these look. If they had sent me the correct color, they would have got me. Oh my God. 
you guys want to do me a favor and at least hit the like button on today's video, I need a little bit of a pick-me-up right now. Uh, I need to try and figure out how to get my money back. ...dispute, which is vital if there has been a serious problem with your transaction. Okay, I think we're good. I am so mad, except I think we got it sorted out. I filed the PayPal claim, so I should be getting my refund because it is fake. But then there's the huge hassle of me having to send it back. I think I have to send them back now. I don't want to go to the post office. I'm so freaking, I'm I'm so mad. So I'm just, I'm waiting till sneaker con Fort Lauderdale before I try and buy any other Yeezys. I'm going to be trying to keep things positive for the rest of the day though, because I don't like to dwell on negative things. And a positive is that it is beautiful outside today. It's around zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is by far the nicest weather that I've seen probably since I left Charlotte. So I decided I'd try and calm down a little bit, get outside, go for a walk, and if you guys know me at all, you know exactly where I'm going. Six twenty-eight. Yeah, Golden State won yesterday. Obviously, that is the marquee matchup of the NBA season when Golden State plays Cleveland. They met in the finals the last two consecutive years. They're the two best teams in the NBA. They feature probably four of the top five, three of the top five at least, NBA players in the league with Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and then Kyrie Irving. I don't know if you want to put him in the top five or not, except he's definitely up there. Golden State blew them out. It wasn't even close. What do I think of the game? Do I think it matters? A little bit. Golden State State broke that four game losing streak against Cleveland. I'm not a Cavs fan. I'm not a Warriors fan. I love watching both teams. They're both incredibly entertaining. I don't hate Kevin Durant. I don't hate LeBron. Don't hate Draymond Green. Don't hate Kyrie Irving. I just enjoy watching basketball. We have to remember it's a regular season game in the middle of January. It means pretty much nothing. Well, it means nothing in terms of who's going to win the NBA championship, in terms of who's going to make the playoffs. It means nothing. That's not why I wanted to talk about basketball though. Zaza Pachulia. Zaza freaking Pachulia. As you guys probably know, the NBA All-Star Game, the five starters from each conference are voted for by the fans, and now recently a small portion of the votes is given to the media and players. Except from the fan vote, Zaza freaking Pachulia is the starting center for the Western Conference. Talk about some Warriors bandwagon fans here, because Zaza Pachulia, I haven't checked his stats, except I'm pretty sure he's probably averaging seven points, four rebounds a game, if that. Like, he is nowhere near an all-star caliber talent. And I know there's been situations in the past where people that have not even played a game that season have made it onto the all-star team. Except those players have been Tracy McGrady, Allen Iverson, Yao freaking Ming, not Zaza Pachulia. He's just being an okay to above average starting center. He's never played at an all-star level. And now all of a sudden he's apparently a starting all-star center. That is ridiculous. Big turnout today. Ooh, sweet. Rich, what are you wearing today? Ooh, this leather's so soft, you've broken these in. Wow, mine feels rock hard up here. RIP the red paint though, that looks, that's tragic. I'd cry if my shoes ended up like that. Bang it. No. Oh. Down, like walking on drills instead of running. Jogging instead of sprinting. And we can see all of that. We see this on the sideline, and that affects game day decisions. If we see someone working their ass off, they're getting more minutes than the guy who is jogging and like laughing. Considering we only had five, six, six people at practice, I'd say practice is pretty good. Did I tell you I got fake easies today? Yeah. I'm so upset. Don't worry, guys, I'm going to stay positive. Just don't buy from that guy. I'm not. Don't buy from that guy. I don't remember his eBay, but I'll obviously find it. Rich, what do you think of Zaza Pachulia being a starting all-star center? He's looking very menacingly over at the camera. I don't think he likes it very much. Yeah, I'd agree. There are 28 big men in the NBA that are better than him. That's, that's not even a stretch. And that was his icebreaker? Yep. 
man. Dude, there's all sorts of weird. Jared is all sorts of weird. It's pretty balmy out today. Yeah.